this French beaded summer wildflowers arrangement together. In the last few months, we worked on making these beaded flowers using seed beads and wire. Now it's autumn, but you can keep summer around just a little bit longer. Let's arrange these flowers together in a bouquet. Coming up. Hello, my beautiful friends. I'm Fen Lee, designer here at the Beat Flora Studio, author to the book Beat Flora, Revival of French Beat of Flowers, beat instructor and designer here at the Beat Flora Studio. We've been fiercely beating these summer wildflowers these past few months, and now we are ready to arrange them together. If you are new here, check out the playlist. Now, I'm not a florist, and I don't play one on TV. <laughs> I don't know the concepts of floral arranging. When I arrange my beaded flowers, it's mostly through trial and error until it looks good. I'm nervous because it always takes me forever to get it just right, and being on camera makes it just a little bit more nerve-wracking. I did take this apart so I can make today's video, so let's get to it. Like I said, I took this arrangement apart so that I can make this video. So um, after I arranged it, I had already cut all of the um, stems um, so that they are at the same length. Um, this is the uh, sample that I made for the video. And you notice that the stems are, the stem is much longer than um, the finished one. So you do need some heavy duty wire cutters to cut your stem wires afterwards. Um, when you arrange them. And I also want to mention that some of the flowers that I have, um, I only have, for example, one leaf. And this one, I didn't have any. And this one, I have one also. And this one, I have two. And some of them, I didn't have any leaves. Some of them, I have one don't have any leaves on this one. But I did keep all of the um, Brown Eye Susans um, the same. And what I also did was I made some individual um, Echinacea leaves. It's like I have four here. And I'm just gonna stick them um, wherever in the arrangement. You can make your arrangements with um, full leaves. I just chose to have some of the leaves separate get to it. <laughs> I'm going to start with the three brown eye Susans as the center. Um, no rhyme or reason. It may not work, but <laughs> I'm just going to try it first. All right. Like I said, every time I do this, it's, um, it is a challenge and it just takes trial and error. Okay, next I'm going to put, I think I'll try the Echinacea first. Put the echinacea around, around the brown eye Susan. It's getting heavy too. As you're holding it. So I just want to insert this just around the brown eye Susan so it just fills in the space. Yeah. Floss do that, right? That's a that's some uh, floss vocabulary <laughs> filling in the space. Okay. Yes. Does it look does it look bad right now? Okay, so now let's do the um, Shasta daisies. Just gonna stick them in, filling in the space. Okay, this is my first shot. Let's see if I can do this in one take. here. I'm just going to 
hold it up here a little bit more now because it's getting a little bit heavy. That's, that's not looking bad. Because <laughs> I did a, uh, I tried to do a video putting it together before, like months ago, and um, it took me so many takes and I still couldn't get it. So, this is my second attempt. I just needed a break. Okay, it's pretty good. And I think uh, you can like pull some flowers up. I just want it more to be like a globed shape. That doesn't sound like I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And you can uh, use this as a bridal bouquet if you want, or um, also put this in a vase, or um, use it as a bridal bouquet and then um, put it in a vase as a memento afterwards. Great for a summer wedding. Okay, so now I'm going to put these leaves all just to fill in the space. here. So some leaf leaves are just sticking out in between the flowers. Are you surprised that I'm surprised? <laughs> All right. Right here, I think I'm gonna hear. All right, this looks pretty good. Okay. And then um, what you can do afterwards is to wrap um, some embroidery floss or uh, floral tape or some sort of ribbon or twine with it. I had twine originally, so I wrapped this with twine. Where's my twine? I don't know where my twine is, but it made it look um, really cool. Um, what's the what's the word I'm looking for? I forget the word. It just makes it more like uh, farmhouse like. Uh, uh, if you can think of the word, let me know. I'll put it in the text if I remember, but um, it just has a really cool kind of natural look. Yeah, that wasn't what I was looking. For. That was not the word, but um, yeah, it's 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 kind of more natural. Um, so we use like twine. I think that looks that looks pretty cool. I put that in like uh, a vase. I think what did I have? I had. Yeah, <laughs> I put it in this little birch. I put it in this little birch um, vase, and so like this. Okay, so I'm going to find the twine um, or something else, wrap this around, put in this yes. vase. As you can see, I'm not very organized. Um, when I started making this video, I didn't even think about uh, reusing the twine until I just talked about the twine. So I'm going to use my... Um, floss to wrap this around for now just so that it stays together. Now when I, um, when you see my videos and everything is nice and edited together, you can see that, um, that hey, I'm very organized, I have everything together, and that is not the case. <laughs> I spill beads, I can't find things, I don't have things like scissors or, um, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> I'm just a mess. All right, so let's. I'm gonna take this embroidery floss, and I will replace it with twine if I can find it. But what I want to do is, I just want to wrap this together. 
What you can also do, um, what is another great idea, is to wrap this around with floral tape first, and then wrap your twine or ribbon. See, that's a good idea, right? Twine or ribbon around this. Ribbon's a good idea. Morning flosses everywhere. This is temporary. I just want it to stay together. I don't take it apart. Or I don't need to take it apart. I don't need to take it apart. I just need to wrap the twine over this. So yeah, this will work. <laughs> All right. So normally this is my like thought process as I'm doing stuff. So it's just just recording my my thought process, I guess. So now if you are using the flowers that you made, um, your stems will be a lot longer. So you would cut your stems so that all of the stems um, are flush together so that it's nice and straight. Uh, you don't want it to have like st some stems longer, some, some stems shorter. So um, this, these, I'm going to, I'm going to cut them later. Okay. I'm going to cut them all so that they're all the same length. It's just, well, if you're just going to stick it in a vase, you're not using it as a bouquet or anything that you're going to show anyone, this is perfectly fine just to stick in a vase. You don't need to like have it exactly perfect if you don't want. Um, but if you want it nice and flush, um, you need some elbow grease and cut them all to length. All right. I'm going to use my wire cutters here to cut this. I'm just going to make a knot here. Thank you so much for spending the time with me. Some of you have been sharing with me your flowers in progress. I'm so excited to see your arrangements when they are finished. If you make any of my flowers, I always love seeing them. Tag me on Facebook or Instagram and I may feature it in a future video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell to get instant notification of whenever my videos come out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next week. Bye.